And howdy folks, this is your old pal Uncle Al. Happy St. Patrick's Day, wearing the green. Okay, uh, we're going to do a pesto as dairy free. Okay, it takes three fourths cups of walnuts, one cup of spinach, one cup of basil, three cloves of garlic. Uh, you could either use lime or lemon. I like lemon. Uh, half of a lemon juiced. Or you could use a whole lime. Okay. Four teaspoons of extra virgin olive oil. Not a blend. Pure. Okay. You want four tablespoons of it. You want one teaspoon of sea salt. Do not substitute any other salt. It has to be sea salt. Okay. You want one fourth cup of nutritional yeast. And two tablespoons of water. You add the water last. All right. You put all the ingredients into a food processor, blending and combining until it reach a creamy consistency. Okay? And this will store up to about seven days in an airtight container. So you could use it for pasta, you could use it for chicken, very good on chicken. And you could do it for wraps. Uh, a lot of my friends who are vegans love this. It's a lot easier because a lot of them can't handle dairy. The recipe and directions are down below in the description box. Let's give a big shout out to Danger Dale, Chris Leon, Who's Your Prepping Nurse, Prepping with Sarge, Saskia Prepping, Alpine Preparedness, Nene's Northern Prepper, Garden Sake Gardener, check out Grow Big TV, Prepping by Faith, Idaho Garden Girl, Practice Prepper, and Shadow Scout Sweet. I'm glad I'm busy. It's a holiday. I have family. A lot of you don't. I don't know what the hell you guys are doing. Check out Wide Family Farm. Grow Big TV. Uh, check out Ali Carroll. Uh, David Lynn, Prepper Principal, Harshman Hill. Dad on YouTube. Food Forest Permaculture. Michelle Mitten Prepper. Groovy Pot Tart. Fairness Britain, SD Mountain Men, uh, Guns and Gadgets, that's Gerald's channel, Matt Holbrook, and Modern Refugee. Uh, I'm going to try and make this five minutes. A lot of people have been asking me for financial advice, and I keep telling them I'm not a financial expert or person like that. Uncle Alan's old and tired. I've been through it, and I know what's going on. All right? If you have money and the bigger banks, I would trade it to a savings loan and a fed, uh, credit union. Make sure they're FCC, FDC secured because a lot of big banks aren't. And keep it under $100,000. Free advice, you don't have to take it. Number two, you want enough funding for three months at home. All right, I don't tell everybody put away a big bunch of money, but what you need for the month to run the house, buy food, pay the rent, stuff like that. It's not rocket science. That's number two. Number three, diversify. A lot of you should be watching Prepping with Sarge. We do this almost the same on gold and silver and crypto and stuff like that. I already sold my crypto. I don't own it because Uncle Alan doesn't bring, bleh, believe in currency or profit. I do the cheater way. I let my niece handle all my finances. She's the ex 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 executor. Yeah, executor of my affairs. So Uncle Alan doesn't have to worry about that. I was Uncle Alan doesn't have to pay taxes. I get a little check for them once in a while and that takes care of all my problems. Okay, a lot of you, let's see, Ugh. gotta reach in. Should have some kind of container. You should be stashing away a lot of ones. Because the United States economy is still fairly strong. It'll take about nine years and a lot of stupid democratic moves 
you want to make sure you have plenty of smaller bills. Like five and tens. It's not rocket science, folks. Keep telling that to people. They look at me like, also my nephews always come by and like, we don't have cash and go on the ATM machines down. And I'm kind of looking at them. Are you stupid? No, a lot of people say, we just wave the card in front of it. And I said, there's some machines that don't take cards. And you better have quarters. Okay. A lot of places don't know that a lot of machines, if you go past the big metros and you have smaller cities and towns that are in the sticks, uh, they don't work. All right. So that's why you should have a small set of currency, ones, fives, and tens, and twenties, and quarters, because once you read out, reach out into the six or the boonies or in a small town or uh, what you call it, a small city, they kind of look at you like, yep, from LA, yep, from the Bay Area, yep, that's Steve. You know, we could see you a mile away. All right, folks, remember, grow a garden, save America. All right, learn how to stockpile correctly. Learn how to cook. Uh, learn how to process and put away. Get a bicycle and spare tires. Beats walking. And our calculator is 2024 reality check. And I'll be seeing it. Good luck and God bless.